Okay, hello from Brightlingsea. And uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to go today. Um, I had a problem with my Zygu G90. Um, when I was turned last, after I last used it, when it performed fine, I then went to uh, use it again, and it was sort of turning itself on and off, and uh, just didn't seem to want to fire up. But anyway, long story short, thanks to uh, Graham M0NAC, who uh, helped me uh, re uh, reload the firmware on the uh, base unit and the head, which was a bit of a, of a performance to say the least, and something I probably would have never managed to do on my own, I'm just not that way inclined with computers. I think we've managed to get it working. So I'm just bringing it out today, and I'm going to make sure that it works before I, uh, before I do anything where uh, it's kind of more crucial that it works and it doesn't let me down. We'll see what happens and hopefully it'll work alright. So I think I'm going to go around to Sindri Island. What a beautiful day. Quite busy uh, over at the uh, sailing club, Brighton Sea Sailing Club. They've got some racing on today. That's the uh, channel uh, 68, which is the uh, Brighton Sea Harbour channel. Just like to have a little nosy around and uh, hear what's going on. Plus, it's the best frequency, best channel rather, to be on in the unlikely event that I got into any trouble. Occasionally, we get large ships in like this. Well, large for Brighton Sea. This is about as big as they get. This is the Wilson Durdle. I'm not sure where it's come from, um, but it's uh, it's obviously taken away scrap metal, which is on the quay the other side there. And underneath where it says Durdle up there, you can see what boat was obviously called Butes, B-U-T-E-S, which is still underneath. And that actually rings a bell from my um, nerdy ship spotting days. It's not loaded because it's sitting very high up in the water. So they're still loading it up and the, the uh, load doors are still open as well. You just about see where I'm coming around here, all the scrap that they're obviously loading. Okay, on the left here, we've got a Morgan Marine a boat, boatyard and chandlery, and then the building there uh, with the uh, you probably won't be able to read it, but that's the Pioneer Sailing Trust, and uh, they renovate old uh, sailing barges and uh, take youngsters out sailing on barges. And also teaching them uh, sort of boat building skills, etc. So you see quite a few of their uh, boats out and about on the water, particularly in the summer months. So anyway, this is Sindri Island behind me. So I'm going to go around the other side there. in here set up try and get operational uh, as quickly as possible 
Okay, I'm going to try and roll out of here. It won't look elegant, but... Nobody's watching. Pull the kayak up. half of the dive pole up and I've actually mounted it as you can see it's very close to the ground I've got the scent what well, it normally uses the center poles and I usually use six of these ten poles um, to uh, elevate the ends but there's actually there's a reason why I'm trying this really low to the ground um, but what I need to do because I because of where I am in order to get the uh, full leg of the 40 meter dive pole I need to just jump over this ditch here goes now loop okay it's got a bit of tension on it so that's better back, oh, oh, back over yeah Easy. thanks for the uh thanks for the five seven you're five nine five nine my name's kevin kilo echo victor alpha november location cindery island in essex tango mike zero one roger yeah, five nine. Your report, Roger. Thank you very much. There's a buzzing noise and some other stuff. You're quite clear, but uh, just stuff over the top. Uh, thank you for the contact. Are you in a bunker? No, I'm on a I'm on a small island called Cindery Island. Cindery Island, uh, Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Did you kayak there? Or? Yes, I did indeed, and uh, you're in first contact and I uh, came out in a kayak just set up on the salt marshes uh, on Sindri Island near the town of Brightlingsea, Brightlingsea, Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger, you faded a little bit, but uh, that's absolutely fantastic. I do like, do like a bit of island. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Well, thank you very much for the contact, Kevin, and uh, I hope you have a good activation. Yeah, thanks very much. 7-3, bye-bye. Two zero whiskey Mike Golf Portable. Two Echo Zero Whiskey Mike Golf Portable calling CQ and standing by. Oh, the radio's okay, but I'm getting a intermittent high SWR, and when I twiddle this about, I can hear it's pulling on it a little bit, but I don't think it's. I haven't got the strain relief on either. I think it's more to do with the plug. Well, maybe it isn't. I need to put the strain relief on these uh, these clips. Oh, and that <laughs> and that is what the problem is. Do you know. This uh, this dipole's made. This uh, wire's uh, DX wire, which is uh, German uh, wire, and it's got six strands in it. And obviously, uh, I can see what the cause of the problem is now. Um, I have got my little multi tool, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel some of that back if I can, and just bodge it onto there. And I've actually got a little nick in one of the uh, one of the lengths as well, so I can see what the problem is. Um, I might be able to fix that, or I might not. Uh, but I've had one contact anyway, so and the radio's working all right. But as you can see, the tide's coming in. I've probably got about 10 minutes or so till high tide. I need to move this stuff up out of the way. It's starting to get a little bit squashy underfoot. But that'll start. Uh, that'll start receding again in a little while. Anyway, so at least I know what the problem is, and I can either fix it now and slacken it off a little bit. Or, uh, or just pack up. I'll uh, get my little multi-tool out, put this stuff up in the kayak where it's not going to get wet. I can't find my multi-tool. Oh, it's there, look. There's my multi-tool. But what I did find was some sesame snaps. So I'm going <laughs> to eat them before I do anything else. Okay, I've stripped it back a little bit. I'm missing some of the strands. I don't know if you can actually see this. But it's got six strands in there. 
and it's also got this uh, Kevlar um, threads in there that strengthen it, that give it the strength. And I forget what the braking strain of this is supposed to be, but it's it's quite impressive. But that's not it's not easy to do. This is not a great tool. In fact, it's rubbish, really. It's not cutting it at all, really. That's just not going to work, I don't think. Uh, so it's just gone high tide, so I'll pack up and uh, go and have a mooch about. We'll chalk that up as a success. I need to get moving while I still can, because this will get uh, bank will get steeper and deeper. I'm going to go back the way I came, just because it's a little bit more interesting, really. Kind of more to look at. Drop anchor there and we'll come out and uh, give you some assistance, over.